Okay, so you know we can't see our art, so we've got right here. We need to start editing a little bit of the program. Now we will need a program such as Notepad or Notepad Plus, uh, Context. I'm sure WordPad would work if you like. Uh, something like that is what you're going to need for this part. So make sure you've got that. And then once you're ready, make sure you've got your distance number really open. And we want to go to the folder here, which you should have if you've already split it your ROM, which you should have. Um, the ink folder. So go ahead and open that. And as you say, we've got various files here, but we only want to look at main level load blocks and pattern load keys. So now we want to open uh, load blocks. Now, if you look here, I've already done this. Nim Green Hill Zone. Yours will probably say if you haven't done this already, which I'd assume if you're watching if you haven't done this, unless you're not following me. Um, originally, it will have Green Hill Zone second. So we want to rename that to Green Hill Zone second. Not Green Hill Zone second, I should say. Nim Green Hill Zone. We want it like that. So make sure you save that. And um, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, I've, blocked, I've uh, made a copy here, so it doesn't. Doesn't hurt to make a copy, you know. Always back up your files, you know, just in case you make a mistake. It's best best to do that. And we now we want pattern low cues. Now a, a quick description, as you may have noted, these are the, all the art files that are pretty much loaded throughout the game through the levels. Now, let's say for example, we've got the lamp post here, the hard, the lives, rings, points, monitors, stars, shield, etc. Uh, and so we want to go to the Green Hill Zone part of the pattern low queue. So this should be the list of all the Green Hill Zone art files and whatnot that, that will be loaded through the queues. Uh, and out up here, now I've only got I've got A, name Green Hill Zone, and zero. Now originally there'd be uh, Nem first or Nem B as you were. Now you can get rid of either of them. You want to get rid of um one of them the location which would be like this because like three B something or something like that to get rid of the location and get rid of them green husband first or second one of them leave one so you should have something like this and they'll either say first or second here and then you just want to rename it to Nem green hill zone and now the reason we change this to b a i should say because it was b is as you may have guessed we've had b entry now we only have A entry because we've got rid of something. So that's just a note. So I'll only load that much. Okay, so make sure to save it. Now the last thing, which I believe we haven't done. Well, I've done, but I believe you would not have done if you were doing this. We want to open Sonic 1 file ASM. Now this is the main file that basically... It loads all like the bin files, programmer files, and has the programming of the in the code of the game. So this is a file you'll most likely be coming back to a lot when you're actually editing uh, assembly. But again, that's for another tutorial. We only want to really do minor stuff in this. We don't want to touch other territory yet. We're not we're not we're not quite there yet. So all we want to do is we want to type in Nem Green Hill Zone. So you got to find, you got to edit find. And then Green Hill Zone. Now that's the first. Again, that's for the title screen. So we want to leave that. We want to keep going. So we go down to the list of files. Now this is where we want to go. Again, you've got Nem Green Hill Zone first. Nem Green Hill second. Now you probably can get rid of this. But I decided to just copy this. Make a new entry. And name it Nem Green Hill Zone. And put this as just Green Hill Zone. And so basically those files will now pick up Nem Green Hill Zone. To pick up this file and they'll both be loaded. Make sure to save it again, close it, build it. Now I will just say, as I don't think I've mentioned, in the build bat, a useful tip, if you right click, edit, again it should open up in notepad or um, whatever sort of editing program you use, and just, just right pause at the end. Now this will stop the build assembler in its tracks basically it will pause it stop it until you press a key now this is this is uh, useful for the errors that you find 
if you try and build it and an error comes along, it's most likely going to close so quickly that um, you don't even get a you know chance to see it. So you know, if you if you click on pause, you it will stop it. And so if any errors are there, you'll you know you'll have as much time as you need to just have a look at it and see you know how to go about fixing it. But we haven't got no errors. That's okay. So there's only one more thing to do. We've got to now try the game. Make sure it works. So again, fire it up. Hopefully this time we've made our changes, small changes. Now this is basically just for Green Hill saying just because of the way as you say the top is set up that way. But um, for the other levels, you know, you shouldn't really have this problem. And as you can see there, look at that. Okay, it doesn't look fantastic. I mean, it looks okay for, from a little bit point of view. But again, this is just a demonstration. This is our art being shown. And again, you know, whatever tile or blocks that's been on each chunks, all the chunks will be affected. But again, you know, we, we want to uh, do art. We want to basically touch up everything. And again, I'll, uh, I'll talk about things you should do and things my suggestions that you should do and shouldn't do um, and yeah that's pretty much our demo that's a well I say yes but it is pretty much uh, our demonstration for this part before we start talking about objects object art um, how to go about editing things like Sonic, the uh, Sonic himself. I'm just going to go over um, just some things about Sonic E2 to finish up. Just some things. As you can see, we've done our basic art, and now all, all, all that's necessary for you guys to do is to basically go over art, finish them. Anything like, say, for example, these tiles were once, of course, the checkerboard. Now you can see here, these are the checkerboards, but they are no, perhaps darker. So what you need to do is to say, duplicate these if you like, onto these, or just copy them, but in a darker color. Now if you don't have much, if you don't have much to go with, you can always put less in the tile. Maybe not do something like this. Maybe something a little bit more simple. Um, and then you can do like lighter and darker. Perhaps you only just want to draw like a triangle shape, or rather than a checkerboard squared or a circle, then you can do you know exactly the same thing. But of course, this takes quite a while, so I won't be doing this for the basic tutorial. But if I ever do an advance, I might show you what it would look like um, completed. Um, but you get the general idea. And of course, like I say, there's other blocks that you can do. Now, if you would like to add anything. Um, all you would do is you say for example I would like to add a tile if you hover over to the tile section you just click it to make sure and just hold and press control A now at the bottom here we've got a little green this is supposed to be like a blank block so there you have it and then you can have it there and I can do the same and I can go over to blocks and I can press control A and so now I have an extra block just a blank block I'm going to do exactly the same for chunks so for example, if I press A back, that's 52. If I go and press A, it's now 53. And now of course, if you remember correctly, if you press Control Z, it will delete from the bottom list of the chunks, block, or tiles, depending on what you're doing. So I press Control Z, because I don't really want that. Just to show you a demonstration. And if you just want to like highlight something specifically, then just um, hover over the block or chunk or tile and just press control D. Now you might think that's control duplicate but that's wrong that's not control duplicate it's um, it's just control A to add new tile and if you want to copy something it's control C um, and then control V I believe like a paste control V for paste to paste over whatever you would like to paste but obviously I don't want to paste anything um, so anyway I'll just delete add a block um, one thing you will have to note is, is that um, there will be obviously like a block limit, tile limit or chunk limit. So if you add like loads of tiles and you see glitched up art and things like that, 
remember make a backup before you make these changes and slowly start to delete your tiles to see if things start to clear up and if things start to clear up you have your problem and your solution you're obviously using too many tiles so you need to get around that um, sometimes if you have too many chunks you can just cut them down as well um, I mean you get a lot of chunks already so you may just want to manipulate the chunks you've got anyway and create your own chunks manipulate the blocks etc etc um, you can always open up uh, an emulator like perhaps regen which might help you to show you the locations of green hills and art or any other art and you can see the spaces and what's there and maybe what's not to be touched and etc and of course um, some levels not all levels one of the obvious ones green hill zone is that um, some objects uses art directly from the level itself so if you see a tile and you don't know what it is you think it's just part of the level and you edit it and then you see I don't know the flowers damaged or something like that then you must be aware of that so make sure to check these things out but I'll go over objects of course at some point but yeah all you need to do is just control A control A for a new tile block or junk control D if you hover over your mouse to delete the select tile uh, tile I should say um, control C for copy and control Z if you just want to start from the bottom so just control Z in the tiles and yeah those, those are just some things you want to get used to those things uh, I personally I do like Sony V2 it's really good it's probably one of the few and one of the best I know some people are like oh there's Israel's Sonic editor yeah that's there but again it's limited uh, and if you want to do more stuff like ASM program assembly programming and do a lot more stuff because it will help you in the long run if you use a split disassembly rather than uh, using a uh, is there something in it? I, I can understand if you just don't if you just don't want to do layouts but if you ever feel like oh I might want to do more you're gonna have to start again because if you use a ROM um, is there something editor normally most of the time uh, a split disassembly will not accept it because it's already been edited it will only split an official proper unedited Sonic 1 bin file or Sonic 1 ROM so that's a thing to know if you really want to use a ESE but I personally wouldn't recommend it I would learn it learn the assembly learn how to use Sonic D2 learn learn the uh, assembly basic assembly um, which I'll probably go over some of the basics of from what I know and some tips and stuff in another tutorial um, and it will it will it will do you better in the long run I, 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 I personally believe that I do honestly do now here's I believe the last thing because we've already touched up on layout editing object positioning um, and the objects will be covered in the next part in another um, it won't be using this program now the last thing I personally believe because I mean background is exactly the same if you would like to edit the background select your background select the chunk select the tile um, and you can always do that or you can go into paint and um, perhaps maybe draw a rough copy out and see how it goes see if you can get it looking how you'd like to go and like I said I've recommended before um, drawing drawing out the layout drawing out your art can always help um, but of course once you've done your art once you have perhaps you've opened paint and you've got something ready you've got something ready to import uh, say for example I have this background here it's far far from com complete it's in PNG format now I would recommend downloading um, IVRAM view I believe it's called IVRAM view I'll probably put a link in the description um, but if not you can search up on Google and it's a really really useful program as you there's a lot of, a lot of stuff on my desktop with um, moving the IVRAM view um, because you can resize, import a uh, palette, swap things, you can uh, decrease the color depth sometimes if you like exporting stuff and you want to um, edit and, and get different tips like that you can save them into uh, different formats like for example when we use the export function and we want to export a chunk tile block 
it will be exported in a PCX format. Now most things like power, thing, things such as MS Paint will not accept things such as that. But that's where you could use iframe view to open it up. iframe view will accept PCX files and then you can save them in a format that works like a PGN, a, B, a BMP, a JPEG, um, whatever you would like. Um, and there's also, uh, I would definitely recommend uh, getting a program such as Photoshop Elements or uh, Paint Shop Pro. Uh, I think you can get free download for Paint Shop Pro 7 because uh, they can open PCX files and they're also useful because obviously um, you can um, look at things like pixel by pixel. We want to zoom in, you get borders around them. Um, you can, you know, you can do a lot of different things with Paint Shop Pro. Um, a lot more than perhaps Paint do. But if you want to do simple things, um, you can always use Paint. I mean, I still use Paint from time to time. I'm so used to it. But I have Paint Shop Pro. Um, you know, when especially when it comes for exporting and importing stuff, because um, that would definitely be uh, um, useful. And also, you can load a color table in there so you can get the palette. You can export, use the palette, and then you can. Um, yeah, export it and use it for other stuff. Um, so yeah, that's definitely, uh, definitely a very useful thing. And I may go over. I may just show you a little bit about Paint Shop Pro um, further on in the tutorial um, and show you about Paint. Just different, little different things. They'll probably be around the tips of, from the kind of things that I do that are really helpful and a lot to do with art. And of course, like I say, we have the import function, which. I most likely will, because it is kind of important, I will most likely show you um, something simple to um, import. There we are. Um, for now, mainly mainly this, mainly this is the last thing um, I will go over, other than when I go over the tips um, and tip part, where I'll probably briefly come over Sony D2 and talk about importing and other stuff, like I mentioned. Um, I just